there is no advanced restart button hence i am using the volume up button and power button to boot into recovery if you have advanced restart button you can directly boot into recovery using that once the poco logo appear you can remove the power button and continuously press the volume up button again you will receive the haptic feedback then you can remove the both the fingers and as you can see this is the latest twrp recovery available for poco x3 i have already made a video many people asking about this already made it you can check out in the channel and also in the community section there are links for this to download and go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and select dalvik catcher and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section here and select the install and select storage and select the micro sd card and wherever you download rom zip file select that first flash the firmware always 12.5.5.0 surya or global whatever it is if it is a karna flash the same firmware done go to home section again and select install and select the rom zip file here this is surya 13.1.1.22 developer android 12 this is a mio 13 based android 12 as you can see take little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed and as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully here they mentioned installation complete first boot take some minutes so wait for it and if a dot device is encrypted format data if your data is decrypted wipe cache and data that's how it is and this is how the MIUI 13.0.1.1.22 and 12 based maybe this is a ported ROM let's see and after this go to home section here and select the wipe and select format data here and type here yes and press this tick button done again go to home section and select reboot and select the system this is the flashing method for this particular rom if you use same firmware and same twrp recovery and if you use the same rom zip file and same process then you will never get any problem like boot loop whatever it is you will never face any problem and that's how it is it takes a little bit of time they mentioned it takes always five minutes more than five minutes for mio based roms to boot for first time so wait for it and in this video i will be i will be explaining out everything in detail regarding this rom bgmi gameplay and even the battery life what all the features available bugs everything will be explained in detail stay tuned till the end of the video and let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you're watching sampath samfx youtube channel and this is the poco x3 custom rom reviews and here we go mio 13.0.1.1.22 this is a developer like dell switch and this is a ported rom for poco x with android version 12 you can see here in the all specs as you can see with android version 12 as you can see this is the first build available for poco x unofficially there were many builds for a available but this is the one particular rom is available as of now and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes and eight seconds you can see here the maximum is 154 and average is 147 and minimum is 117 million gips and it is throttled to 92 percent of its maximum performance there is thermal throttling going on here and there but that's how it is but the performance you can see here it's fine enough not just that with the benchmark results like Geekbench scores as you can see single score and multi score is fine enough single score it reached 550 also but with something i did with magics it struck in boot loop hence i reflashed again everything and this is how the score single score is 530 and 1694 is the multi score and the kernel user is linux 4.14.180 puff surya kernel has been used here and it's recognized as kernel but this is my unit is indian variant that is surya you can flash on both the devices nothing will go wrong here in the particular room and next let's see the android benchmark results here also you will get very good score one of the highest in fact as you can see three lakh sixty six thousand six hundred and twenty nine yesterday just two days before only i made a video on cherry shows there also i got similar scores that's really good as you can see and temperature raise is little bit more here three degree celsius and battery droppage has been noticed three percentage during this testing that's how it is fine enough that's the highest scores three lakh sixty six thousand seventy that could be 
healthy score but i don't believe in those benchmark results actual gameplay i'll show you in bgma then you can judge the actual performance day-to-day -day performance like scrolling between apps and moving in settings panel as you can see it's very very fast you can definitely have it as you can see into display into refresh it it kept to 120 there is option of 90 and 60 but keep it to 120 for better experience if you want very good battle life you can move into 60 hertz and dark theme as you can see it's pitch black condition as you can see even the quick settings panel is here mio 13 style most of the indian roms stuck with this uh, mio 13 roms but it haven't got this kind of update like this the brightness panel is included within the quick settings panel and even the volume panel is also included i mean the vertical shape that's not been seen in indian versions that's how it is if you want you can flash this rom there is a portrait rom but still it's very good as you can see switching between light mode and dark mode is also fast enough and font settings you can change here me sans pro is given i'll give this one itself and during the flashing you'll get everything in different language just have look on that use google lens with another phone or just there are some letters given in english you can follow the same method that's not the problem that's how you need to keep in mind while flashing this rom after setup ping you will get that problem and into wallpapers and personalization let me agree this as you can see you get all the mayo 13 style of wallpapers and into live wallpapers as you can see you get this kind of live wallpaper once it get downloads i'll show you apply as you can see this is the effect you get with this mayo 13 kind of wallpapers that's also missing in indian versions then you can have this rom and utilize them as you can see plenty of live wallpapers are given even this molten glass also have live wallpaper effect it takes a little bit of time to download this as you can see that's how the effect you get with this kind of live wallpapers that's how it is everything is included and always on display is also enabled you can enable from here just there is no more options for that just enable it it won't work or work let's see this is the wallpaper let's see always on display here it should work but that's how it is you can see here there is no options for this always on display maybe this is given just like that no options and into sound and vibration additional settings and sound effects as you can see won't get any dolby atmos or anything like this same as poco x what we had in other roms also i mean other mio based roms or stock rom also that's how it is and uh, regarding the notification control center you get app notifications you can see here you can enable or disable from here the individual apps you can choose here that's present and notification effect animation is given notification shade you can change here mio is also fine enough if you want you can keep the android style also and control center style you can keep the old version if you want new version it's already enabled smart home feature you need to install me home or google home application to, in order to get those options here and the status bar options plenty of options given and hide notch and notch in individual apps also you can choose from for certain apps if that is not playing in the full screen then you can use this option and go to that option and select always show notch then it will be fine enough no problem regarding that that's how it is into settings panel these all the things you get into additional settings you get same options and memory extension up to 2 gb for 6 gb variant if you have 8 gb variant then you get 3 gigabytes extra ram storage that's virtual ram not going to useful that much and accessibility button accessibility menu it's given got it as you can see you can toggle between them without using the volume buttons you can toggle them and even without sliding the notification toggle you can just use this to increase the decrease volume and even the tools as you can see you can directly use that by pressing this this is a handy feature in android 12 that's present here you can definitely try it out and clear speaker quick ball 100 mode led light gesture shortcut those are already present and into special feature you get side plus and tab plus button you get only one option in indian versions of rom but here you are getting two of them you can use them simultaneously floating windows are still available you can use them second space and a kid space mail lab and light mode are also working fine no problem regarding that and this is how the home screen you get if you tap and hold here you get some more options as you can see widgets 
here the mio 13 and integration with android 12 you should get some of the widgets it takes a little bit of time to load this I already made a video on that like some of the roms based on android 13 it's like mio beta versions this is stable one as you can see you can drag and have them it takes a little bit of time to load and have in the home screen but in the app vault you already get this as you can see you already have the widgets even in chinese variants also the widgets are not that much useful yes they are given but it takes one more updates or like that haven't received that as of now maybe in the future you will get that and coming to drm info here you get let me go as you can see level one certification such that you can watch all the ODT application in hd resolution that's not the problem let me show safety net and you can see the speed test simultaneously and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also all of the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like many people watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel have a subscribe to my channel and you get this failed air safety net status you can't use the payment applications like google pay or anything like that just use this magix manager and hide the application and there is a problem regarding this only i just made an update and flashed the model like dolby atmos it's stuck into boot loop again i reflashed everything that's how it is as you can see even now it's rebooting itself for first time this this is not the problem whenever you flash any models like i intentionally flash the dolby atmos if we want any other models you can flash them but it's not working 24.3 magix version is new one that is not supported for poco x that's you need to keep in mind if you want to use this as a gaming rom then it will not be going to work it and regarding charging i use both 10 watt and 33 watt charger with 10 watt charger you get very good battery life it takes more time to charge but you get very good battery life that you need to keep in mind not just with this rom with any other rom and let me show you the charging animation and fingerprint unlock and face unlock is always going to be fast in mio based roms and as you can see it's supporting turbo charging it i mean it's rapidly charging that's how it is you get this kind of me and 13 12.5 also the same one nothing change here that's how it is and uh, regarding that is what i said about uh, the safety net status you need to manually boss that's not going to work here that's how it is this is uh, just if you want to experience the mio 13 wait for few few more weeks you will get plenty of updates regarding mio 13 for poco x3 also already i uh, have x3 pro and uh, mi 11 x both got updated to and at 12 basis on mio 13 you will also get that and in the battery settings you get balance performance and save battery in the balancer settings only i run the and to under gig pen score that's fine enough nothing change what we see in realme and oppo these kind of devices they have differentiation in performance mode and non what is that other mode that's not going to happen in mio it's exactly the same just the battle life going to increase that's how it is let's see the bgmi and end of this video what are the graphic settings we get mio mint version that's becoming too late i don't know when they will have a new build for pogo x3 nfc surya karna whatever you call this is how the bgmi game settings you get just nothing fancy here just you get smooth plus ultra only no high fps count is enabled pre-install like any other gaming roms you see but you can manually do that but magix models are not working i mean the magix completely it's not working you can't flash the magix models and increase the fps you need to use file transfer method either you can use the gfx tool to increase the higher fps count i don't think so anyone use it as a dial driver with these many bugs and uh, regarding the pixel experience unofficial latest build and even the miui gt edition two different new roms has been arrived i know it but gt edition is not getting downloaded it's showing the limit has been reached now hence i will try that definitely you will get that video in my channel no need to worry regarding that but the pixel experience rom i'm not going to review it it's an unofficial build once the official build will release i will make it out just uh, last week i made a video regarding pixel experience you can look out that video you can flash the same rom it's an official one check that one 
not the unofficial one that's how it is and uh, there was a problem also while flashing that hence i am making i'm skipping that one okay into the boot camp the bgma and i haven't enabled the gaming mode here you get that same year 13 style gaming mode i'll show you later and definitely you won't get any better experience here that's how it is and with same graphic settings again with smooth plus ultra as you can see the scores are very good and to do benchmark either but in the real life i won't see that huge performance here in this particular rom that's how the benchmark results is sometimes it's real but sometimes it won't be the same in real time performance as you see and the loudness is also fine enough nothing great like me mint version even the stock type of roms have very good sound output i mean the loudness you can see here i will come back this is not a very good experience i can see in the game bgm or whatever it is that's how it is you can play call of duty also but i don't recommend to have this kind of rom as a daily driver that's how it is if you want to experience me 13 with this control central then you can try it out that's all guys in this video if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button down below and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now